Sunny to be on this channel. Tonight we will be having on the menu for Sunday dinner Jamaican food. Yes. We will have some jerk chicken. I'm going to make some curry chicken. I'm going to buy some beef patties. I'm not going to make beef patties. I don't know how to make beef patties. So no, that's one thing I don't know how to make. We're going to do the beef patties. And we're going to have some red beans and rice. And I'm going to buy me from the Jamaican store some cocoa bread. So that will be our dinner for tonight as well as this meal will be for Sunday dinner. And this is the bag that I have. I just took it out. And that is the Tyson's. This is like a family size bag. That I got from Sam's. Right now I have my chicken wings soaking in a large tub of water. As you can see it's fairly dirty. I'm going to come over here to my cabinet. And see can I find some salt. Because that's how we're going to clean our meat. So salt does come in handy for something. We'll use some salt if I can find it. I hope I didn't throw it away. Because I normally, I don't really like, I don't really like using salt to cook with. I don't see it. I know I have some salt in here, y'all. I know it, I know it, I know I do. I got all my seasoning. I need to go by the store today and buy some more lining for my shelves. Because it's about time to change that out. Now come on now. Sonya, you got some. I hate to show you this cabinet because it's oof. I need to clean that out. Or I need to reorganize. One or two. Uh, I can't see in there too good. There's no lighting, so. A lot of stuff in here too. A lot, a lot of stuff. Hmm. I'm gonna find some salt. I'm gonna find some salt and we're gonna put like um, about two or three tablespoons of salt in this water. Because you really want to make sure that your meat is clean. I'm gonna pour that in there. And before it's all said and done, this meat is gonna be very pearly pink with a shine to it. Once I clean it with that salt, and then we're, we're gonna divide the chicken wings up some for jerk, some for curry. And let me show you the seasoning that I will be using. And this is some good, good seasoning. I'm going to use that. The Grace Mild Curry. They don't like the curry chicken too hot. And where's my favorite? I'm going to use a blend of that jerk. Well, no. Uh-uh. Wait a minute. Now, this is a jerk curry season I got. I'm going to use this. I'm going to use that on, I don't know, y'all, because I don't want everything too spicy. I really don't. I'm going to use this here on the jerk chicken, and that is the spicy season. You use a letter of that. And you always, I don't care what kind of season salt you use, you always... You always gonna put some onion. Always put onion powder on your meat. It makes it very tender. It will balance out that taste of that jerk. Do I have some open? Hell, I got so many different kind of jerk seasoning. I'm trying to think which one that I really, really like. That's by Grace. It's okay, but I think this is the one. I, I this is the one I'm really gonna use tonight. And then we want to get some um, cocoa bread. I may make a dessert tonight as well. Oh my goodness. Wait a minute because I don't want that water to get back up inside of my chicken. Let me find some salt. And once we start dividing this up, I'll come back on camera and show you guys how to do a dish of Jamaican food. Okay, and cleaning this chicken. Make sure if you come across any pieces of chicken that have some funny daddy, look like some funny daddy type stuff going on. Like that coloration, I don't like that, so I'm gonna cut that off. But here, what I here's what I have so far in this container, and I think this container is gonna be for the jerk chicken. I don't think too many people want curry. 
That looks pretty good. I couldn't find my salt, so it took me a little bit longer to clean this chicken. Yeah, I'm not going to do too many pieces. And see, they got all that, honey, they got to come off. You see why I don't really eat out? Because I, I got to make sure my food is right. I already don't eat that much. I eat junk stuff, but junk food. But when I do eat, it better be right. Okay, that's enough. The rest of this is going to be... Wait a minute now, y'all. Yeah, I keep saying that's enough, but... Uh... If I had put some salt in this water, that water would be curly white. If it's so clear, you can see through it. But I can't find my salt. Look at that. Oh, that got to come off. I don't clean this chicken about three times. Okay, that's enough. Here is my chicken. Let's go over to the counter. We're going to pick up, remember, some onion powder. Although we're doing jerk, let's pick up some onion powder and our jerk seasoning. Go back over to the counter. Now, on your onion powder, you probably want to do about three. That's equivalent to about about two about two to three tablespoons of onion powder. Now, when you come to, when it comes to this jerk season mix, you gotta be extremely careful with this because it will have you sneezing when you put it on your chicken. I can get that off. Okay, that's how that looks. And that is the spicy kind. Man, we're going to eat good tonight. I ain't lying. I'm going to throw in a dessert with this one. You see how I'm generously just pouring it on here? Because I want it to be well cooked. That's a lot. That's a lot. That's almost half a bottle. But I'm going to allow this to marinate. We're going to take your finger. This is a hand type thing. Take your fingers, you're going to marinate that real good. Oh my goodness, oh my, hello, hold on, hold on, wait a minute, I'm about to sneeze, hold on, let me go get a face mask, hold on, I'll be right back. Okay y'all, I'm back. Okay, I went ahead and got my pants out, those are the pants I'm going to put the curry chicken in, they're clean, and the jerk chicken in. If we look over here to the other side of the sink, that is what came off that chicken. So make sure you really thoroughly clean your chicken before talking about cooking any chicken. Clean the chicken. You have to clean chicken that come in a bag. If it says been pre-cleaned, already cleaned, still, as a precaution, clean your meat, people. Okay, so let's finish with this jerk chicken right quick so I can move on because I got to get out of here. I'm going to add another tablespoon of onion powder. powder. And I'm just going to go ahead and generously just spray the rest of this jerk season salt on here. It's going to be spicy. I'm going to mix that very well. You do not have to leave it overnight or a couple of hours. If it's one of those situations you're just getting home. But it is a hand thing. you got to mix it with your hands. So make sure your hands are really clean. Making a mess a little bit. I want that to marinate very well. I didn't put anything on it but a little onion powder and the seasoned salt itself. That's all you need. I'm going to reach over here. And I want to use my larger bowl, which is going to be this one, and take my jerk chicken and just place it inside. Looking crazy, but it's all right. That's the jerk. I'm going to pour some more seasoning on it. Because I really want that to marinate. I know it's looking crazy. But you know some ugly stuff can be good too. So stop looking for all that pretty stuff all the time. It can be ugly pretty. How about that? And you know my hands clean right. Okay, yeah, we know that already. Okay, I'm going to leave this over to the side. I want some of that juice on both ends. Now, I will do this. When I make my jerk food, once that starts to cook down some in the oven, 
I'm going to add probably about a half a stick of butter inside of it. Okay, that's the that is the hot jerk chicken we just did. Now you know I have some spicy curry mix as well as some regular mild curry. So what I decided to do, I'm gonna go ahead and put that. Lord, I'm about to choke. Cuss it. Oh, I'm good. <coughs> oh, excuse me, I had to turn my head. I'll put this chicken in here right quick. Cause it's gonna be our curry chicken. And you know I'm gonna fix your plate, so don't worry. You gonna get a plate too. We're gonna go ahead, take two to three tablespoons of the onion powder and place on there. And we're gonna add a little bit of this spicy jerk chicken season. It's not even open. Guess I didn't use that one. probably about a fourth cup full of the spicy kind and then we're going to mix it with some mild so it'll balance it won't be so hot for them and i'm going to do some red beans and rice normally i will soak my red beans overnight so they will be very tender and it won't take that long to cook but since um i didn't do that i bought these packs that I'm going to cook. So we're going to see how that turned out because that could be an alternative when you don't have time to really cook your beans because you know beans take a while to cook. Now this is the only thing I hate about this curry. I'm going to try to use this spoon. But when you use this curry season, it will stain your hand. So if you don't want your hand stained with this color on it, I advise you to use some gloves of some sort because I really don't want my hand stained. You want to mix that up very well. As you can see, we don't have enough, so let me go ahead. Put a little bit more spicy. That's probably about another three to four tablespoons. And you know, when you're doing this, there's really no true measurements. You just want to, ooh, that's a lot. You want to make sure it's well coated. Now with this, the curry is a little bit different for me. I don't wait till it, till it decides to cook down. I'm going to go ahead and add me a half a stick of butter inside this. Mix that up very well. I would not be using my hand on this one. Hope for the best. That's all I can tell you. Okay, let me go ahead and add my butter. And that is about a half a stick of butter. Mix that in it very well. If it doesn't melt inside of it, that's fine. Because it's going in a pan. It's going to be our Sunday dinner. That's how it's going to look, just like that. Let's bring our other pan down. And pour it in that pan. Look, you still got season in the bottom. I'm going to scoop that up because that's part of our margarine that's in there as well. Isn't that, that looks so simple, isn't it? It's simple. You talking about some good food? Oh my goodness. Everything don't have to be well. I'm going to go ahead and use this and that, that. Because uh. sometimes you just don't have time in the kitchen for all that. Especially when you're feeding a family. You want to be wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. And if you're a single person, make a lot of it and freeze it. Now I got to clean my mess right. So what I'm going to do, I'm not going to pop this in the oven as of yet. I'm going to leave out, go take care of some errands right quick, come back. And then I'm going to place it in the oven on a temperature of about 4 to 425. Let it cook for approximately about an hour bring it out I'm gonna show it to you and also that pack that I told you that has the bean and the rice together I'm going to show you that because normally I would go ahead and pre-soak my beans beans overnight and then cook them the next day because it's faster so if you're going to do a Jamaican meal and you want to cook your beans yourself 
beans are easy to cook soak them in water overnight when you get up in the morning you can slow cook them in a crock pot or when you get home it's only going to take about an hour let's go ahead and i'm going to wrap that up with aluminum foil and then we're going to come back and do the cooking process but remember we're going to cook this on a temperature of 400 to 425 you want your higher heat on this because you want it to marinate as well as um make the chicken sort of crispy in a sense okay i have placed the jerk chicken and the curry chicken in the oven i still have the aluminum foil on there slightly i don't want my chicken to dry out so for 30 minutes i'm gonna keep the aluminum foil on and the last 30 45 minutes i'm gonna take it off that is my red beans and rice pack because i did not allow my beans to sit overnight any other time i would make my own red beans and rice but I picked this up in the store. So I'm trying this brand tonight. I opened up, I think three, no, I only opened up two packs. I want to try that. And then at a later time, I'm going to try this one too, the black beans and rice. Now you follow the directions on the back of this package, but I added a little bit more water because once my red beans and rice begin to cook down some, I'm going to add just a half a spoon of flour in there with some more seasoning so it would really be like homemade Those beans is not hard to cook y'all you just let them sit overnight so like i said so they can soften up because if not you're gonna cook them all day this only takes like 22 20 30 minutes or whatever i went by the store too and got my cabbage and my carrots and i went by Kroger's. Kroger's is so expensive. But if you have not tried this brand of um, beef patty, you need to check this out. These are good. I only got the mild kind. And I went by the Jamaican store and got me some cocoa bread. So I placed that inside of the microwave until I finished with all the food. So yeah. But I wanted to go ahead and cook dinner kind of early tonight. You see those beans? So a person who's looking for something very quick and simple once this cooled down and i uh try this i'm gonna let you know whether or not to check this out because it was only like a dollar pack and this would be good for an individual person to eat with like some baked chicken some lemon pepper fish baked fish so yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and let this cook on a low temperature because i want it to slow cook and once it cooked down some, I'm going to add just a half a tablespoon of flour, some more seasoning. And that's going to be ready. But yeah, there go our chicken. Chicka, chicka, chicka. That's the curry chicken. And that's the jerk chicken. If you can smell my house right now, smell like a Jamaican restaurant in mine. Yes, we're going to eat good tonight. Yes. I can't wait I already eat myself because I haven't had anything to eat. Well, I ate a little something earlier today because i um, taking some medication. But yes, we're going to be good tonight, y'all. Get ready, get ready, get ready. And I'm going to give you a lot on your plate for those who don't want a lot on your plate. Guess what? Eat some now. And what they say with them now is save some for later. Stay tuned. Dinner for today. I didn't get any long carrots. 
It was told me also, when my kids come home, they like to tell me what happened, because I always ask them, you know, how their day was or whatever. And I think every parent should do that, so you can have that open line of communication going on. Boy, if you don't get off that floor high, you will not be eating none of this good food today. Oh yeah, here go my cabbage. Ew. Okay, you said, ooh, okay. Make sure you don't get none. How about that? Make sure you don't want none. You're gonna be the first one trying to get a plate. But yeah, all thing I gotta cook next is cabbage and um, the beef patty. And I'm gonna warm up my cocoa bread. I know this, I shouldn't be cutting these carrots like this, but whatever, this long gotta get sliced up over here. That's enough carrots, ain't it? Here's a chicken. Let me check it out to see what's going on. Put my chicken on. Yeah, what are you doing with that? Chicken. 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 And this is one of them meals you can't really drain because you know I move it. You see all that season? Now I'm going to turn up the heat a little bit more so they can hurry up and evaporate. They're going to my curry chicken. It's doing great. Look at that. That's the, that's the curry. You saw that water evaporating in that chicken. I'm gonna add a little bit more butter. This is sticking. Add a little bit more butter and leave the top off on that one. That's the curry chicken. It's making a mess. Let me get some butter to put inside of that. Oh, let me show you how this uh, red beans and rice came out. Now, if you try this, this rice, it's good. You're going to have to add some more seasoning of some sort to this rice. And then I add like a, about a tablespoon. Look at that red beans and rice. Then I add like a tablespoon of, a half a tablespoon of flour. Because that's how I normally would make my own red bean and rice. Look at that. So we will be eating pretty soon. Pretty soon. We'll be eating pretty soon. Look at that. And if you see it where it's getting dried out, just slow down the cooking process. Turn once it get close to finish cooking, turn that owl off. And I want you to add some cold water to it, cause you don't want to overcook. You don't want to overcook some beans so it tastes mushy like. You don't want that. No, no red bean and rice. Now this how um to me this how Popeye rice used to look. I don't know what happened now. It's like baby food, and then they don't give you that much, so there's a lot going on with that. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put my beef patties in this nonstick uh, pan. And I didn't buy that many of these beef patties because uh yeah six six dollars for three. That, that's 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 fancy. If you have a nonstick pan, not to my team, you're not gonna need any kind of coating to it because it should not stick. Okay, I'm gonna pop that in the oven. See that chicken is almost done. That's the jerk, and then that's the. I'm gonna put that in the center of that of that heat so it can cook evenly. But well, let me get my fork. I went ahead and put some butter inside of the curry, and that's going to evaporate. You see how that chicken going to look? That's going to cook down. And once that cook down, you're ready. Now I'm gonna I have to turn the heat up a little bit more so I can go ahead and glaze and give it a little crispy, uh, crisp to it. There go my jerk chicken. I'm going to bump up the heat a little bit. That beef patty should be okay because I left it out at room temperature once I bought it to make sure 
that um it's not frozen. Let me go ahead and bump this heat up some so I can cook this cabbage and rice. I'm gonna take it all the way up to 510. If I see the chicken is done, I just need for that some of that juice to evaporate. So I took the oven up to a very high temperature. I'm gonna leave it on 510 for about about 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes. Then we're gonna take that out on the fisher plate. Okay, so here's our meal for tonight. We have our jerk chicken on the end. I saved some of that sauce because you can put it over, if you had plain rice and you didn't want the red beans and rice, you can go with the sauce from the jerk chicken to pour over that to give it some spiciness, to give it flavor. I also have in the container some of the curry chicken sauce that's left over if you wanted to use that instead. We got our fried cabbage with carrots, our red beans and rice, and on that platter down at the very end, we have our cocoa bread and our beef patties. As you can see, my plate is over there on the end, and so I'm getting ready to fix my plate in a minute. So I hope you've enjoyed the time we've shared together in creating this Sunday dinner. We're creating memories that will last a lifetime with family and friends. So, I know you're wondering, where's your plate? I got your plate to go, so you better come on over and get it. Until next time, be blessed. I'm going to go ahead and fix my plate because I'm kind of hungry. See you in the next video.